back over here at Home Depot. Right before we come and do this job, I had to come and get some electrical wiring. Could have swore I had a 100 foot green cable, 12, 12 gauge wire, but couldn't find it this morning. I gotta come and get a new roll, plus some other connectors and some other things. So, 12 foot solid. Yeah, I had this one. But they ain't there no more. Twelve gauge under solid. Right there. Nope, that's fourteen. That's all fourteen. That's ten. Ten gauge. Twelve gauge stranded. What is this? Solid right here. What we gonna get today? I gotta get. I gotta get some. Uh, sorry about that. Gotta get some connectors now. It's all metal. I didn't change it around in here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Where the hell is all this shit at? on metal. Metal, metal, metal. They changed it on me, dog. Where is the plastic ones? We're gonna find it in a minute. All right, so we're here at our returning client. Uh, we did some work for him in the past and we're here today to install this. Brand new Jandy VS165 AUT. We're gonna put it in. And then we got the, the AccuPump 01 interface controller right now coming in going to be installed and i need two hands for this we are replacing it with let me just show you this decrepit max flow pump call me saying that the motor went bad we didn't install it and um i told them July 1st, 2021, no new motors, single phase motors are gonna be available. Might as well change it over right now. Let's go do it. If you're wondering what we did for him before, we installed this beautiful JE Jandy heat pump about two years ago. Got him a really great deal on this one. I believe this one was a uh, an open box. Uh, they had uh, purchased this one and they really wanted the uh, reverse cooling. So they opened it up and they noticed it wasn't the reverse cooling. So we, uh, we were able to get this on an open box deal. As you can see, I framed him the, his own uh, concrete pad for this heater. We did the electrical from the main box. Got a, uh, a quick disconnect here. Ran it underground into the heater. And all the plumbing 
is underground. This here, this pipe here is the inlet. And that pipe there is the outlet of the heater. Beautiful. All right, now this is today we got going on. This is where the old uh, pump is located. So we're gonna be putting three individual two inch, two way, Jenny never loop valves. Three of them right there. New VS pump connected to the existing filter. And the IQ pump 01, we're probably gonna be installing right here is where he wants it. He has a good signal out here. Uh, we will be also replacing the, the electrical. Look at this, look at this wiring. It's all opened up and everywhere. And I told him, let's replace it, dog. Gotta get it good. You're making a good investment. Let's get some new wiring in here. All right, enough of the shenanigans. Let's get it going right now. We're gonna be doing the unboxing because we need. This is gonna set everything, the tone for everything. Read this. No warranty if purchased online. This is not a DIY project. Installation by a qualified pool professional. Oh. And register your product, jenny.com registration. I'm qualified. Unboxing time. This one's kind of new, different from the last one. The main computer is different. This is a brand new, this is a 2019, October 19, I believe this one was manufactured. We have our, our unions with our comm cable right here, okay an extended base and we're gonna be putting this on the extended base we're gonna have this up high give us the the lift that we need okay
little by little, we're gonna be adjusting this. All that whole discharge progress all changing. Well, like always, there's always something that comes up and miss, uh, I forgot about the spa. And um, given that the, the level that we needed to go down with the valves, um, see this coupling here is much higher than what the other ones were. Um, so when we cut here, all the water started crushing out from the spa and I forgot about it. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't even drain the spa anyway because the, the other pump was no good. So needless to say, I was waiting to see how low it would actually go for the, uh, to see if we can get to the level that we need. And anyways, I gotta, I gotta even go lower so that the, the third valve, the small main drain valve, will be at the same height there. So while that was, uh, while that was draining, I did other things. We ran the new wire inside of the, the timer box here. Got all new cable, a new whip, uh, a new connector up underneath there. Uh, mounted our, our remote control receiver. It's going to be for our uh, our iPhone or smartphone. And uh, the back side here, we had to reconfigurate this because the way this was working, this was the old setup. This old setup was running somewhat like this, but more flush to the pump. So we had to reconfigurate all that. Now I gotta go get, uh, wasn't counting on that either. And I gotta go get another, another ball valve. And uh, so I can finish the, uh, the drain pipe there. And then I'm off to my, uh, to my warehouse cause I gotta go get my sub pump to pump out the, uh, the remaining water from the spa. Yay me. Every time you leave a job site, you're losing money. And right now, should have been, should have been done with this. But these are all unforeseen things that happen. Always. So, just trying to pick up a little bit, put everything, because I need to go. I've been here for a few hours, dicking around with this stuff. But uh, we're on our way. If I had a, don't even have the stuff I need. I didn't feel like jumping in the spa. I'm not fit to jump in the spa right now. So I think could have done. Could have easily jumped in the spa and plugged it. But I'm not doing that. Cause that water is freezing.
had a very small piece I found my holes but then I looked in this bucket and look what I found y'all see I knew it in a bucket I was doing some electrical it was real I had did not need a spy Jesus Christ man I was going not organized guys Try to stay organized. Look at all this. All this wire I got. All these connectors I have. I remember this man. Yeah, I think it was another great connector right here. These are the ones I wanted. Trying to find them in the store. These are the ones that I like. See, these go inside. These are different. These are better ones. I don't know. I found these better than the other ones I bought. Today. Anyway, I'm going to go with what we bought. I got to organize this. Willing parts from controllers, antennas. That's an RSPS4 board. Like that. This back. This is my, my little electrical area. I'm gonna go with what we what we needed. My holes. It's a heavy dog. Let's get it going. Now I gotta go back to Home Depot to buy that valve, that ball valve. All the stupid stuff that comes up, man. Just prolongs the time. Pushes everything back. Just stupid stuff. You guys go through stuff like this? Have to. Because I know I do. It's not always perfect. I try to plan for everything. I try to you go to the job site, you know, look at everything, and you can kind of like estimate in your mind how it's gonna be. But then when you actually work everything out, you know. Sometimes they end up just, just things just to start changing because it just doesn't either fit or it's not looking good or you know it's not the way that you imagine it to come out to be. Um, you know, like when I gave him the estimate, 
I sent him the estimate and then, you know, he wanted to see if I could do, you know, like everybody. Give me a good deal, man. Give me a good deal. Come on, man. And then, you know, they shop around. So he said that he found a place that was selling it, you know, price plus 10% off. And um, so I said, listen, man, that's a, that's a national chain store. I can't compete with them. But what I can do is I'll give you a discount and then I'll give you a discount on other little items here and there. Try to make up the difference. And he was like, yeah, man, that sounds good, man. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. It's all right. And then when I was redoing the estimate again, I pulled up the, the pictures that he had sent me. I asked him to send me uh, pictures of the pad. And I immediately, I, I, I overlooked that um, I was going to be getting, uh, estimating him and installing the Jenny three-way valves, two of them. But he currently had the Jan, the old Jandy Space Savers. Um, they still sell those, by the way. Space Savers for really small, small pads. Um, good valves, but you know, I don't buy them much. I only buy them when I need to do a, uh, a repair on the valve. You know, the diverter valve is bad or whatever. And just, you know, take the guts out, put the guts in, whatever. But I immediately noticed, I was like, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, it's gonna push. If I, if I, if his was installed on the top, on the top of the manifold. If you notice ours, ours were on the, um, on the actual pipe that comes up. If I would have installed those on the on the front, they would have been, it would have extended where the pump was gonna actually be at. Probably would have ran off the, uh, the concrete pad so I immediately had to change it. And um, I knew that I had to, to save space because with the uh, the T's and the couplings and things of that nature, it's, it's much shorter of a distance than the, um, than the valves are. You know, a, a T is, it's gotta be at least an inch or two shorter than the actual, um, the Jandy valve is. And that's a lot. On, on, a, on, on a pad and I'm just guessing but um, so that's what changed everything and throughout that it never dawned on me it just it just slipped my mind that uh, I had to that the spa the spa was um, I needed to cut the spa and I knew it when I looked at the picture I noticed that one spa uh, on the spa pipe that coupling was much higher uh, than the other couplings and I didn't show you that but um, the other couplings were much lower and I cut on the top of those couplings initially um, so we ain't even had it uh, go down but you know that's what happens man you know things change and you gotta go run and drive and spend time and go back to the parts like Home Depot that's my number one store there what about y'all? I'm just rambling on. Let's get going. He's lying for Chick-fil-A. I'm on the wrong side of the road, but there are all these people. We're Chick-fil-A. It's like, today's Saturday. There ain't no, there ain't no tomorrow. Let's go get it today. That line for Chick-fil-A is long. They got some good food. But damn. Those lines be long, right? Sun that line. Home Depot. We're rolling back to Home Depot. There she is. Beautiful. 
I ever noticed? I think I noticed that every Home Depot they got a flag on the top. Oh, we gotta find the ball back. Excuse me. Okay. You slip all the other ones are threaded. Sometimes you can't. Only sometimes you can't home deep, but other times you can't. I got it. It's expensive, man. Scan your items. When you're finished, select the Pay Now button. Now you do that pro number. Got some pump there working. I'm going to drain this completely out. It'll take about 10 15 minutes, probably less. I'm gonna get this uh, the rest of this here going. We'll finish up this back side right here. All right, we got our we got our spa main drain completely uh, drained down. And the water is way down, so I'm gonna get more of the water from the side here. So we've cut our pipe. Now we just gotta excavate now. I have room for our coupling. And we gotta go through all this just to achieve the same height. So that all our pipes are the same. Because the other pump at a different inlet pipe, uh, inlet height. This pump is higher. And then we also have to put our valves. And that should do it right there. Okay, so we're all done here. We did all our installation. We were able to get our uh, small main drain valve installed along with the other two, full main drain and skimmer. Everything's all plumbed in very nicely, all into the brand new pump. Our brand new pump is installed. We go around to the other side here. We did a whole new discharge pipe and with a uh, ball valve there for the waistline. All new, brand new electrical, tacked in very nicely to the wall. All new connectors for underneath the box, into the timer box here. We've installed our JND interface antenna on the wall. Nicely tacked in with these concrete anchors. Right now the pump is running at 2,850 RPMs, just enough for uh, this 
Liverpool does have a vacuum cleaner online, as you can see right there. So it's just enough for that cleaner to run and operate. We set it up with four different schedules. If you're looking for a pool professional to get something like this done, if you have any questions regarding barrel speed pumps, again, as I said in other uh, videos, and I mentioned it, I believe in this one as well, starting July 1st, 2021, manufacturers are no longer gonna be manufacturing single speed motors. So if you're having a motor that went down or you know, they are gonna be making retrofit motors that will be variable speed, but if you wanna go ahead and, and upgrade to a fully variable speed complete pump, you know, we're the company to call. Any questions, post your comments down below. Please like and subscribe to my page. Give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions again, like I said, you know, support us, support our channel. Thank you very much. On to the next one.